Last week, the Batrami County Sheriff's Office welcomed one of its newest members to the public, public via Facebook. Tonight, our Josh Peterson introduces us to that new member who goes by the name of Mac. Meet Mac. <laughs> he may only just be over a year old, but for this pup, his new life career is about to start. Mac is the newest member of the Beltrami County Sheriff's Department. Mac joins one other dog in the department that will serve a dual purpose. Um, our goal right now is we're going to maintain two full-time dual purpose dogs. So every single day um, for afternoon and evening shifts, there's going to be a canine on every single day. At one time, Beltrami County had four canine units. But as time passed, the dogs got older and have retired from service, leaving just one canine for the entire county. And that is where Mac steps into the picture. Mac is a Belgian Malinois that will enter into his canine training along with Deputy Kyle Norrie. For 10 weeks, the dynamic duo will train together and return to Beltrami County ready for work. Mac will be a dual purpose dog, um, so we'll cover narcotics detection, criminal apprehension, tracking, article searches, agility, um, the whole nine yards. Mac joins Norrie's family along with his other pets. So far, everyone has got along. Um, so it's been a little bit of adjustment. You know, they don't they don't run and play off the leash together, but um, they get along. They, they kind of sniff each other, wag their tails. Having a canine unit is not a cheap undertaking. What is unique about the program is that it is funded entirely through grants and donations. Funding a canine unit is expensive, and right now we've just started our donation drive up of um, trying to raise funds for a canine unit. Okay. Our canine unit historically has been raised only and ran only on donations. Working together through thick and thin, alongside man's best friend. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Those interested in contributing to the K-9 program can contact the Botrami County Sheriff's Office. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.